Hey everyone, welcome to Loco Skates. We're going to do a behind the scenes shop tour today. So we're going to show you the shop, we're going to show you the warehouse, and we're going to show you studio, and a little something on the side of the building that we've been working on for a bit that's quite exciting. So here we are in the shop, quite an echoey shop still, working on the soundproofing on the ceiling. Uh, this is kind of like our showroom. It's not a shop as such, because we only show about 5% of what we sell in here. But you'll see it's kind of open plan with the warehouse at the back here so the idea was to kind of give this this vibe of like it being a website being a very well stocked website but also with an area that you can just come in and try skates in your own time we're really trying to push this idea of like self try there's one thing i don't really like about going into shops it's like the high pressure of uh, feeling like you've got to buy something or something like that um, so we're just really pushing for kind of dropping skates off to people letting them try them and and you know, not, not feeling too pressured into buying stuff. But you can get a full fitting here if you like. We, we do allow like a full fitting service, which you can book online. Got an iPad on the wall, choose what you want, press the button, someone will come and bring you skates, drop them off, lead you to it, or if you want them to stick around, they can stick around as well. Liner area, heat molding, we've got the MyFit heat molding oven that came in last week, so we can now do heat moldings in the shop. Aggressive skates, just a small selection of what we do. Quad skates, everything's got a QR code on it. Obviously, you can't really put like a lot of information on a shelf like this. Um, so yeah, scan the QR code and you can read all about the skate. Freestyle slash um, kind of fitness slash recreational skates. Got accessories area, just a tiny selection of what we do. Obviously, junior skates, pads. Got the coffee machine at the back. Been pulling some really good coffees out of that one. Best coffee ever. Oh, and we've got the Loco Lab stuff as well. So, um, this is kind of Harry's little project. Got the Loco Lab stuff. Um, to, make, to tell you about Loco Labs, what we do is instead of like trying to order all this skate clothing from abroad, like most of the good brands are out of the country. So, it costs a lot of money to get them in, and it's in small quantities anyway, so it's quite difficult to do. So what we do is we pay a license fee to the brands and then we print it here in the UK. Um, so they get paid, uh, we get to stock this stuff and hold the brands that we really want to hold. And um, yeah, it's working out really nicely. So if you want to support indie skate brands, then Loco Labs is a good way to do it. This is what we call Gaston's area because Gaston is the only person who really like fixes stuff. Everyone else just seems to like pass it on to Gaston. What are you fixing today? Just like some, I'm putting some like random frame packs back together. So, okay. so yeah, just a box of frames. Boring stuff. Not super interesting. Someone's got to do it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is where Gaston fixes all, all the stuff and um, solves a lot of problems over there. He's got all these tools out. Warehouse. Uh, Try and keep it organised, keep it organised in supplier order so that when you get a, a delivery from a supplier, it can all come to one place in the warehouse and it can be unpacked into that one place in the warehouse. Um, looking fairly neat at the moment. And then, I've got a little car wash area at the back. This is my little project. I've got a foam cannon, for like foaming a car down and then a pressure washer. So it um, makes it a bit easier to, to clean your car. Someone else is parked there at the moment. The guy next door loves to park in our space. It's been, there's been wars started over less than that. Little toilet back here. You can't smell it in here, but someone's been in here recently. <laughs> They're vintage Playboy on the wall. It's, uh, I hope not too misogynistic. We were trying to be vintage and uh, classy about it. Um, okay, so this whole warehouse area was a shell. When we came in here a few months ago, this is a complete shell of a warehouse and um, Apart from this like tiny little, there's a, like, there was like a one story little box here, this little bit you see, but we built on top of it, we built another story, and then the shop is built like entirely from scratch, and the office, which we'll show you in a sec, is built entirely from scratch. The cool thing about building from scratch is that we got to make the shop exactly how we wanted it. So, you know, the bespoke look of the shop, that you, you see the skates spaced apart perfectly, and now we, we had absolute blank canvas to work with, so, um, really happy with how the shop turned out and this here we built so this is a mezzanine floor hiding you know behind these walls and uh, we built it so that it can be extended as well so when if if we want to we can extend the whole 21 meters 
across. The warehouse is about six and a half thousand square foot, including the top of the mezzanine. So we're working with good space and we've got a lot of height now so we can just go up when we need to. Got a photo studio in there. Max, Max will show you the studio in a minute. This is the office. Max is here. Hi, Max. Hi. Max uh, takes photos and waters the plants. That's his job. <laughs> it's looking great. Almost as good as that photo you've cultivated. This is where Gaston sits, does a lot of emails, does a lot of customer correspondence, um, prints a lot of invoices out. Uh, this is where Harry sits. Here's Harry, look. Hi, Harry. Hello. What do you do? I do a lot of stuff. Uh, customer care and admin, yeah. probably. It's not what it's cracked up to be, is it? Like in the skate shop. <clears throat> no, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you thought that you were just going to sit around watching videos all day, and um... no, you've uh, you've ended up doing a load of invoices. Yeah. But yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Wilbur usually sits over here. Yeah. Wilbur's the dog. What type of dog is Wilbur? It's a Bedlington Whippet. Bedlington Whippet. Wilbur's been naughty today, so he's been uh, left at home. Yeah. Has Wilbur been naughty? Uh, no, I guess so, yeah. He's been quite naughty lately. Quite naughty. Yeah. This is me. This is, um, this is my vanity window. This is the way I get to sit and like, look over like, the empire. Kind of, my Lion King kind of like, vantage point um, where I can see all the stuff. I, just, I really wanted a corner window. So, yeah, like I say, this is all built from scratch. And then my desk... It's got a lot of screens on it because I really, really don't like spreadsheets. And uh, this big long one makes it much easier to do spreadsheets. <laughs> and then um, this is our, our boy Duncan. He works remotely. Here he is. He's on the Slack. He's ready at any moment. Let's say hi to Duncan. Say hi, Duncan. I wonder what on earth is going on. <laughs> um, but Duncan's responsible for a lot of the graphic design and the emails that we send out. So, but you, you see a lot of the, the magical graphic stuff that happens at Loco is Duncan doing that. This is the uh, studio area. Now, you probably won't recognize this area because we've not filmed anything here yet, but this is where we're going to be doing YouTube videos going forward. Um, we were really struggling with the audio on some of those videos. In fact, it's probably going to be ironic because the audio will probably be rubbish on this video as well because using these little clip mics. Um, but we got a full set up just this week. We've got the Shure SM7B mics, the classic microphone. Those are the ones you see everyone using on podcasts. We're not really filming podcasts, it's just mid-length YouTube videos, like the same as what we've been filming up until now. Um, but yeah, just so we can do it consistently and do it quickly. It's, it's a push of a button and we can jump on and we can talk about skates and talk about whatever. Um, so yeah, got three mics going into a Focusrite Scarlett with four inputs. So we can have a fourth mic when we want to. And then we're actually filming on iPhones. These are, these are actually iPhone minis, and then I'll use the, the, the iPhone that we're filming on now for the third camera. The reason we use iPhones is just because you can pull the footage off the camera and not treat it or anything, and it looks really good. I think like, the color science is good. Like The colors really pop nicely, and I just have to do less work in post. Um, because, to be honest, we're really busy and um, editing videos and YouTube videos is really time consuming. So we're just trying to have a setup where we can turn on, do it, put it on the timeline, get it out as quick as possible. And I feel like the iPhones allow us to do that a bit better. And then got the big light domes just to make us all look lovely for the light. Uh, over here, like I say, built from scratch again. This is our kitchen. We put a dishwasher in, which was the dream, and an oven. My dad bought some mince pies today. Mmm. <laughs> My mouth is so dry. Over here is the uh, shower. Somewhere that isn't dry. I was trying to find a segue. Um, yeah, we always wanted a shower so we could go for a skate, jump in the shower, the spare towels in there. So uh, sometimes when you're feeling a bit groggy at the end of the day, you can jump in the shower and this is then Max's area, this is the photo studio. This is where the magic happens. So um, 
we painted it white so we didn't get any horrible reflections and we used uh, soft boxes and flash to make the pictures really crisp and uh, that's about, about as exciting as it gets really. Flash as opposed to uh, static. Flash as opposed light. to static light so we can create shadow and make it look professional as what? professional as we can. What's your, what's your setup? What's your camera setup? Camera is a Sony A7R with a uh, Zeiss 24 to 70 lens. Gives us a nice bit of distance. Everything's shot on that lens. Um, Max also is the mushroom expert as well. So Max is the, is the only person here that doesn't actually roll a blade. So if you want to support a roller blade around the shop, roller blade operated shop, don't buy it like a skates. If you like mushrooms, Max is your guy. What's your, oh, I'll put it on the screen. Max is TikTok mushroom guy. What's your, what's your biggest view count on the TikTok? 2.1 million. 2.1 million on the TikTok views. This is, I should have cleaned this up before we did the video, but I always wanted like a charging table. Um, but when that is uh, nice and organized, it will look really great. Back downstairs and, uh, oh yeah, we haven't shown you the packing room yet. We'll briefly show you that. This is Taylor. Taylor is uh, the guy that picks a lot of the orders. He'll, um, He'll just come in in the morning, like pick everything as quick as possible, and then hand it to Joe, who'll pack it. And then Taylor's like also your guy who you go to when you need anything done. So uh, if you need something painted or drilled or sorted out or cleaned or unpacked, Taylor's doing all that sort of stuff. And then Joe's in here doing a lot of the packing. No frills packing room. We could put a carpet down for you if you like, man. Still, it's an ongoing build. And then outside, this is the exciting bit. We're gonna build on this and build on this as time goes on but we've got the little ghetto park set up. Got a couple of dudes out here, got Panos and Alex session in. So, uh... oh, the pressure was on. Nice. <laughs> we've got the classic loco box, you recognize that one. A couple of little really, really sketchy quarter pipes. The sketchy rail here, which is really, really scary to ride. Uh, scary to, to jump on, it moves. Um, this one here is really good. That rail there is really awesome, and the wedge box is great as well. It's got the plastic coping on it. And then the showpiece is the Brighton Level Pool, um, you know, the, the nod to the Brighton Level Pool. If anyone is an old school skater in the UK, you know about the Brighton Level Pool. And um, that's why we painted this blue. And it's got the pool coping on it, and it's the greatest ledge. Rumour had it, these and actually came from the Brighton Level Pool. It's not, it's actually not quite as good as the Brighton Level Pool, but we, uh, we got halfway there. It's really good still though. So that's it. This, is, uh, this has been Loco Skates. It's been quite a journey to get here. We've not really wanted to do a shop tour up until now because we were never really ready to, sh we never really felt finished at any of the shops that we've done. And it's not, not that we're finished here either, but at least we're in like half a decent place where, where we're happy to show it. Oh yeah, in the spring, let's do a, do a jam. Loco, loco clash, loco, loco cup, and we'll have more. We'll keep building over the winter. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Loco Tour, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.